is Marrero Gang. Chase one, Marrero Gang evading. Athletes ready! Let's get this underway then with Marrero Gang, the three-time world champions, with a couple of new members in their team, including this man, Charles Bougeard, who just evades the dive in the opening seconds, but cannot evade the one over by the sisters. Yeah, breaking away from a lazy boy real hard unless you've got a good bit of distance here. The sisters forces you to slow down. You've got to try and get over all of that high tabletop. And that big step up here has cost him it. Not quite fast enough. Chase two. Kimio evading. Zero all. Athletes ready! Well, it's the other of the new French duo, Clément Dumay, who steps up for Marrero Gang. Now, they did, of course, win the first three world championships, but suffered major disappointment here three years ago in a shock early defeat. And Clement Dumay reaches through, but can't make the tag. And was only four seconds left, and it might be a nightmare start again. Oh, desperate, desperate. Oh, my. Well, the lights go green, evasion given. Fingertips, but not quite getting the distance there. Kimio getting the first evasion in this match against the three-time world champions. Coming in fresh, Kimio. Well, what a start this could be. As the French team, who have their own quad, it's only a small one, but they were the first team to get their own quad, and maybe that knowledge is paying off. As Alex Steck, team captain, has been sent in to try and arrest this worrying run for the three-time world champions. And oh, hang on, now, it looked like hand on hand, but the light went green and evasion has been given. Our referee says that that is 2-0. This replay is brought to you by evader.com. Buy your official WCT athlete jersey here. Chase four, Kimio evading. 2-0, Kimio. Athletes ready! He made the tag, he's had two evasions, Woo! and that little bunny hop through by the ridge was never gonna get him anywhere. Tag made pretty quickly. Yeah, big push by Charles there to come all the way up to the ridge, but really faint it. He's not intending to go over, being able to block himself and get the Camino player under that thread. Chase five, Morero gang evading. 2-0, Camino. Athletes ready! Benjamin Garcia, only 17 years old. Eight years of parkour experience, but only 10 months of world chase tag. And that is nowhere near as much as Charles Bouchard, but it does not matter because the tag is made by the loading bike. The intensity in this 17-year-old ramped up in that testosterone fueled aggression, jumping straight through, not caring about shins, his knees, nothing like that. J6, Kimio leading 2-0, Kimio. Athletes ready! Well, Marrero gang poached these two Frenchmen from the defending champions United, and you would think it puts them in a very strong position, and they're using them almost exclusively in the early stages here. It's not working out, though, and it might not be working out here, because Benjamin Garcia, the 17-year-old, down by the ridge, and off he goes cross-court, and I think this might be another point, because he just races around by the tilted cube, and he loses a bit of pace, and a desperate dive and tag finds its mark. And what a tag, he'd have to get that there by the tilt to Cuba, 18 seconds, coming up against the last opportunity to get a tag, if he'd have made that breakaway. Chase seven, Marrero gang evading, 2-0, Kimio. Athletes ready! First chance to see the team captain for Kimio, Emile Gagnon. And he has banged his head, but also banged his man. Matthew getting the tag there, possibly getting a little bit of a headache in the process, but he seems okay, he's stepping up, ready for the evasion. Chase eight, Kimio evading, 2-0, Kimio. Athletes ready! So after a brief medical intervention, Matcha is okay to continue as Jim Cooper, another new member of the Magaro gang, gets onto the quad. And it's an enthusiastic start for him, but can he find a way to make the tag? He swishes and misses, and he... He's getting caught out by the front line, the gap has opened up, it's under the sisters. 
And by the tilt to Cuban, Macha is picking up another point. And this is 3-0 to the French team. Classic case here of Jim following him round, tailing the route that Matthew is setting. Matthew is reverse herding his chaser to put as many obstacles and disturbances in the way to get that clock to be killed and to get the evasion. Textbook stuff here by Matthew by Kimio. Chase nine, Kimio evading. 3-0, Kimio. Athletes ready! Halfway through this contest, and the three-time world champions are 3-0 down. They have got serious, serious problems. And Mathieu Gestan doing some good work down low, under the sisters and now under the ridge, and he's looking for space across court, and there's another swing and a miss, and he might get away with this, you know. Under the ridge again, to the loading bay, and it could be four, it is four! Unbelievable! That was incredible! <laughs> You can even see like Marcus at one point has caught up across the front line. He's got real good acceleration, real good parkour skills. You can see that he's probably faster than Matthew in a straight line here. But really good juke work. Chase 10, Kimio evading. 4-0, Kimio. Athletes ready! Alex Steck, team captain. Can he arrest this horrendous slide from a railroad gang? He's known as Stekosaurus, but Marrero Gang are looking like dinosaurs in this one. 2019 was the WCT4. Marrero Gang lost that one, and before that, they've had three wins back to back, but that is a long time ago now. Chase 11, Marrero Gang evading. 4 0, Kimio. Athletes ready! Another chance to see Benjamin Garcia, the 17 year old, who is aggressive in his first attempt on the quad and made the tag. Aggressive again, and look at that. So, well, he really just straight, like the Terminator, he's like the T1000, arms pumping. And there's a point and a claim of attack. Alex didn't feel it. This might be a DTR, the lights go green, but I think this has got some way to run. This is where a DTR is initiated, a disputed tag review between the two teams. Goes to the head ref, Cozy. Let's find out what they're saying. Benjamin explaining he thought he got him on the leg just as he was going over the mountain. It's one of those kind of where, as an evader, sometimes you don't know. You're too busy trying to jump over a 12-foot obstacle to realise whether you've been brushed on your calf or whatever. You've got, you've got a lot going on, to be honest. You've got height work, you've got all the bars, the black, the lights, the competition, the pressure. It's really hard to tell sometimes, especially with these slight misses. We were saying, well, Chase Tag, it's got to be a clear tag for the point to be given. Well, I'm not so sure, looking at that, that he's made contact with the leg. It's a difficult one. And Greg Ball, who's the team manager, <laughs> is delighted to see the evasion given. No contact was made. And Alex Steck has managed to get Marrero on the board, but there's an awful long way back from 4-0 down. Must have been nice to get DTR go their way this time, huh, Dan? 4-1, Kimio. Athletes ready! The towering Khalil Hadori, six foot four of him, just sort of gliding his way through to the middle of the quad. And Alex Steck trying to use some of that explosive power, but there you see the reach, and the reach pays off as he goes through the bars, makes the tag, and Marrero gang are in all sorts of trouble. Chase 13, Kimio evading. Match point, Kimio. Athletes ready! Charles looking to make the tag and keep Marrero gang slim hopes alive and it's over by the front line, he doesn't quite make his move, he forces Khalil, oh and he's got to make a move there and it's not worked out but the tag is made over the sisters, thumbs up from Khalil but they've just got to keep on evading and evading and evading to get it to four all. Coming into round 14 of 16 so at this point Charles is the only man that can save Marrero gang. Chase 14. Pressure is on, and Emil just descends the team captain for Kimio. Our first chance to see him in action, and he's not quite sure about how to enter the tilted queue, but he knows how to get under the sisters and round the front line as he looks to find Charles Bougeard. And there's some really good scrambling. Oh, and he dives to the tilted queue, and that doesn't work. And Bougeard might just get away with this, and he does. 
best Ooh. in the <laughs> by the barest of margins. Emil scrambling the whole time here, scrambling sometimes quicker to catch up to your opponent, but going over everything. But the pressure was on the whole way for Emil, and he didn't quite get that catch for Charles to be able to get the evasion. And now he's got to do that all over again to save Moreira. Chase 15, Moreira Gang evading. Match point, Kimio. Athletes ready! Well, gamesmanship from team manager Greg Ball, who was just calling Charles over to give him a few extra seconds to get his breath back. Will it prove crucial? As Jonathan Dumont dives through the loading bay and can't make contact, and this could be an incredible turnaround. Oh my, what are we seeing? He's dived, he's missed, he's even stepped up on the border, a nice little rail run there across the side and then under the ridge to the front line for the evasion. Chase 16. Marrero gang evading. Athletes ready! Khalil Hodori can win it, but if he doesn't make the tag, it's four apiece and there is a tag potentially. Yes, it's made! Marrero gang lose! It looked like they were going to get thrashed. They fought their way back to within one point and then had it snatched away from them by the telescopic arms of Kalil Hadori. Marrero poached some big name players, two for the defending champions. They used them so much early on in the match, but went further and further and further behind. And in the end, it was too far as the three-time world champions are beaten 4-3 in their opening game.